Hola amigos, I'm the Spanish chef Omar Rally Boy and today I want to show you a tapa which is full of flavor, it's fantastic for parties and making in multiples for when you have your friends or family over and it's champiñones gratinados which translates as mushrooms gratin with a serrano ham mayonnaise. So let's get cooking and let me run you through the ingredients. We're going to need portobello mushrooms, the green part of the spring onion, fresh thyme, salt and pepper, a mild olive oil, serrano ham, garlic, egg and lemon. I'm a big lover of all mushrooms, particularly wild if it's possible, but we are going to be using some portobello because they're very wide and they hold a lot of content. The more mayonnaise they can hold, the better the taste. First, we're going to remove the stock. With the help of your fingers, move left and right those stalks which should come out with ease. And those are perfectly edible, it's just that for the purpose of this recipe we don't need them, we want to fill it with mayonnaise. Place them on top of a baking tray with some parchment paper, drizzle a bit of the olive oil, salt and the fresh thyme leaves and we're going to bake them in the oven for 15 minutes at around 200 degrees. And while the mushroom roasts, we're going to start by preparing the mayonnaise. But before we do, it's important that you choose the right uh, kilner jar, container, or in my case I'm using a glass that fits very tightly with the blades of your hand blender. Now, squeeze the juice of the lemon, use a sieve to remove the seeds, so just um, pass the juice through your fingers, add a pinch of salt, uh, separate the egg white from the egg yolk and just use the egg yolk, uh, add the thinly sliced garlic and we're gonna pour the mild olive oil. And now is when the magic happens. So bring your hand blender all the way to the bottom and start blending. Stay there for about 10 seconds and slowly sort of incline the angle of the hand blender and you'll see that it starts catching some of the oil slowly and emulsifying. Unfortunately, on this occasion, my mayonnaise has a split. So it didn't work, but let's not be afraid of it and let's fix it because there is always a solution for everything and every now and then we all mess up. So now pour a little bit of tap water in a separate glass, again that fits very tightly, and start pouring the content, the split mayonnaise into that glass slowly so that it starts catching with the water and starts emulsifying again. That's what we are after and as you can see very quickly it turns into what we are looking for, a mayonnaise that is thick in consistency and looks a bit more pale as opposed to yellow. And now pour the remaining amount a little bit at a time and just start catching that split mayonnaise into the emulsified mayonnaise so that it all becomes a really great thick mayonnaise. Now thinly slice the green part of the spring onion and do exactly the same with the ham. You can leave it in chunks as well, it works really well depending on your liking and pour your mayonnaise into a bowl and add both the spring onion and the ham and give it a little mix with your spoon. Take a look how creamy and rich it looks. Now we're going to spoon it on top of our already cooked mushrooms which has sort of wilt a bit and dry a little bit but I think a spoonful is enough for each and we're gonna bring it back into the oven for another five minutes to finish off. You can use your salamander as well if it works better in your oven. And it's ready to bite in. I hope you enjoy the recipe and that you give it a go. If you enjoy the video, please like it, share it and subscribe.